Um, JD, just Braden Yeager, um, what has stood out to you about his game so far these uh, these first couple days? Well, he's a smart player, and for someone his age, he's playing both sides of the ice with uh, a level of maturity that you don't often see with uh, guys coming straight from junior. I think he takes a lot of pride in that up and down game and making sure he's responsible on the defensive side of things. But um, he has the ability to make plays, made a couple of nice slick little passes. Um, and the, you know, the goal he scored tonight was he's reloading for a D that's pinching, which is a responsible thing to do, but it pays off on the offensive side uh, for him. So, um, you know, we think that that's a, something that for a young player to have already, it, it's uh, impressive. What did you think of Jagger Joshua's game mixing it up the way he was? Yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, that's what he does. You know, he plays with a physical, he plays with an edge. Um, he's not shy out there. And he brings a type of juice to the bench and a uh, different type of swagger. And you love to see it. Uh, it gets, gets the guys kind of, you know, into the game. And you don't have a choice, right? He's bringing you into the game no matter what. So I thought aside from that, too, he, played a, he plays a straightforward physical game. Um, it's not just about those things. Uh, I made some... Yeah, good choices on the penalty kill when he wasn't in the box. <laughs> he did a nice job on the PK for us, so those were good things to see. Was that the difference in the game, though? Maybe some of the physicality, the energy today, you know, kind of a better game than, than one? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. There's, um, there, you know, yesterday was the first game that the Saints have played in a long time, um, and they're trying to adjust to some new players. There's some different ideas being thrown at them. And we try to stay away from giving them too much information so they're not overthinking it. But I think it's, you know, at times it's natural. If guys are trying to make a good first impression, or, or like I said, they haven't played in a little while, and then some, so you could just get the rust off of one game. And then we're able to just touch on a couple little things with the video. And um, I feel like maybe they were just a little bit more uh, comfortable with all the bodies and everything flying around today. So, JD, what can you tell me about Sam Poulin and? and Appreciate about his game coming back and really well. Uh, played really well today. Yeah, he does a lot for us. Um, I mean, I said it yesterday. One of the biggest things he can do is just control the puck. Uh, he has on a sick down low, and he's near impossible to knock off it. And then on the defensive side of things, it's the same way. He's strong. He's just so so strong down low. Um, he's able to close the guys out and finish plays and get us going the other way as well. Um, so, and, and that goal is just kind of, the goal he scored is just how he scores goals, you know. He also makes nice plays around the net, but it's, it's a lot of just grunt work that um, when Sam does it, it looks, uh, he makes it look easier than it really is. What have been your initial impressions of uh, Dylan Hamiluk? Oh, uh, it, you know, I was, it was really happy to see him score some goals today. It's been a long, he hasn't played a lot of hockey. He's been out with uh, surgeries, various injuries throughout his past couple seasons. I think last year he might have played six, right there, Nick? six games. Not Sounds like tough for me. Usually pretty good at that. Um, so, like, that's another guy where he just hasn't played a lot of hockey. So yesterday was probably tough for him. I'm imagining it would have been tough for me. Um, and he made some adjustments on the penalty kill just by talking to him and having conversations. You know, yeah. Sheldon did a great job with, with the PK guys, getting to understand what we're trying to do a little bit. Um, and he plays, he's another guy that plays physical, and he seems to have a little bit of a touch around the net as far as, you know, a couple deflection goal and uh, those types of things. So he's, a, he's an interesting player. Of course. You have some undrafted guys kind of under the radar, like Nemesnikov and, and a handful of those guys. Has anybody caught your eye or, you know, kind of maybe grabbing some attention? Sure, uh, you know I thought Hayes Hayes was um, he stood out today to me as someone who um, you know was making the most of his chances uh, at the goal he scored in, in the third where he backs back he steals the puck and then he makes a really nice play to put him back in the net. Um, I thought that was impressive and it, it kind of like I wasn't the only play but there are plays like that where he's doing something little to drive offense um, and I think everyone's been, been doing a great job but he's one for sure that stood out a little bit. Is there anything about Sam's game that like to work on even more to maybe get to where he wants to go? Pooley? Yeah. Um, I mean, he's he's still rounding it out. He's still a young, a young player. Um, and again, he's someone that didn't play a ton last year. We're still, we're constantly working on just uh, keeping his pace up and keeping his feet moving. Um, you know, he'll have a tendency to get his feet going and then kind of get in the glide. Uh, he's at his best when those feet are moving. And he's, because when he's at top speed, he's, he's, he's a train out there. He's, you're not going to stop him. So, um, that's something that we, we work on quite a bit. What do you think of uh, Gauthier's game? Yeah, he was good. It was a different kind of game for him, like not seeing much early and then getting some action around the net and a lot of bodies. 
Um, I thought one thing I really liked about him is he, I thought he played the puck well tonight. Um, it's something last year he was pretty good at knowing when to come out and picking the right play, but I mean, he didn't always make those plays with um, full confidence, and tonight he looked like he was making those plays with full confidence, so it was good to see.